YouTube, how's it going? The Goat House is back with some more 2019 NFL record predictions. This video is for the Houston Texans going game by game, but we're doing this for every single team, and we've done plenty of teams so far. Uh, so this is our first video for the AFC South. Pretty tough division. I think really anybody can finish first or last in this division. It wouldn't really surprise me. But kind of quickly break down the Texans. Um, you know, my thoughts on them. I like Deshaun Watson. I was high on him. Out of Clemson, still high on him. Um, it's just about that offensive line. It's a pretty young offensive line, so it can definitely get better, but it might need some time. So I actually can see it struggling still this year. They got a guy like Titus Howard, who I like his upside a lot, but a guy, a guy that could, you know, if thrown in there early, you know, m could struggle a little bit. You know, DeAndre Hopkins, in my opinion, the best receiver in football, and Will Fuller's got to stay healthy. I like Will Fuller a lot. You know, he makes the, that team that much better because he can do so many different things and really, really stretch the field out with his speed too. So, you know, I like what they got on offense. It's just really about that offense line. I, I still think it can struggle, and that kind of can hurt their top playmakers. And in terms of running back, uh, Lamar Miller's been solid, but obviously, um, you know, he's. I don't want to say on the decline because it's not like. I mean, yeah, he is a little bit, but uh, he still can play. And on the defensive side, you know, I wish they would have done a little more in this off season on the defensive side of the ball. Um, you know, the D-line, it's really J.J. Watt got to carry that load. And, again, another guy that's really not getting any better, obviously, but still a top-tier talent. Uh, I like their linebacker unit. They're a little thin on depth for pass rush. Uh, you know, I think really Clowney was their best defensive player last year. And their secondary, you know, some good players there. Justin Reed should step up. He had a really good rookie rookie year. Uh, they just got to work on that tackling in the secondary. It was pretty, pretty bad at the end of the year, so hopefully they can fix that. Uh, right before we get started, 20K is our subscriber goal. We're actually going to be live tonight, too. What is it? The 14th NBA Lottery. We're going to be live streaming that, our reaction. Uh, so hopefully you can join us. We'll answer any NFL or NBA questions. Uh, we're trying to get to 20K. we got daily sports videos on the channel every day. There will be at least one video. First one will be at 2 p.m. Eastern. And then there's our Twitter in the bottom right. Much appreciate you if you check that out and click that like button. But on to the Houston Texans, game by game. A tough week one. Really, the Saints in New Orleans on Monday night. Um, you know, the Saints, we've seen them. They struggled earlier last year, lost to Tampa Bay, and then they struggled with the Browns, even though they won that. Um, so maybe it's a team you can get a win here. But Monday night in New Orleans can be very tough. I'm picking the Saints there, uh, but could be a good game. Could be a high-scoring game. Jaguars at the Texans. I like the Texans at home here. You know, the Jags could be a new team with Nick Foles in there. Um, basically, the rest of the team looking about the same, but they get Nick Foles in there, uh, and then some good some good draft picks, obviously. But the Texans at home, I like them. Uh, at LA to play the Chargers, you know, the Chargers are a very complete team, and they I think it's a bad matchup for the Texans. I think the Chargers can slow them down enough, uh, but they also could um, could definitely put some points on them. So I think it's a bad matchup for the Texans, especially being in LA. So I do like the Chargers. Then they are home against the Panthers. I like them against the Panthers. Pan depending on Panthers' health, they could struggle. They have some holes. They did do a good job in the draft, though. Uh, but I like the Texans there at home. This is a tough one, week five. Very tough. I think the Falcons bounce back this year. You know, they got to stay healthy. You can score on the Falcons. I think the difference in this one is really I'm going with the home field advantage here because it's so close. I'm going to go with the Texans. Uh, so they're at a three and two. Tough schedule here for some of these AFC South teams. Texans at Chiefs. I do like the Chiefs. Offense too powerful for them. Week seven. Texans at Colts at division game. Division rival game here. Oh, that's it's actually you know kind of a gut feeling now that I'm looking at this. I like the Texans away. I just just a gut feeling there. Uh, I'll take them away against the Colts. Home against the Raiders. I will also take them there. They play the Jags in London. I don't think they will sweep the Jags, and the Jags are a little better this year, so the Jags win that one. They get a bye week, then they're going to Baltimore. Uh, that could be a good game, too. I, I do think the Ravens are I, – I think the, it depends on Lamar Jackson, but I think they're the better all-around team, and they're home here. Uh, so I like the Ravens. Uh, I had the Colts losing at home to the Texans, but I think they beat them on Thursday nights. Uh, I think the Texans lose that one. I think they'll split. Just a gut feeling, they'll split. Uh, they'll both win away games. Against the Patriots could be a good game uh, here. Probably high scoring. I, I like the Patriots here. And we're looking at five and seven now. A couple lo Four losses in a row. I guess that's tough to see, but that's a tough stretch right there. Very realistic because that's a tough stretch. 
Uh, and then we have home against the Broncos. Good game here. I think the Broncos defense will step it up this year, but I do like the Texans at home there. Uh, but then I, I like the Titans in Tennessee. It depends. They play them twice in three weeks. Depends on the Titans' health. That's that's a team. Yeah, you read. That's good for the Texans that they play them uh, late because they could be playing backup quarterback there, which could be Tannehill. I mean, who is t- their backup is Tannehill, which could be pretty good. Uh, so I'll take the Titans in this one, and I'll take the Texans on these last two. So that brings them at eight and eight. So that's a tough schedule because I think they're better than an eight and eight team. Um, and just coming from first in the division. So that's rough, you know. A way harder schedule this year than last year, though. That's one thing to look at. Another thing, they didn't really do much to change anything in the offseason. I think the offensive line could struggle. There's really no standout guys on defense besides Clowney and, and you know, Watt. You know, he, you know, Watt was, you know, sometimes kind of disappear at late late in the year there. Uh, and the Texans really as a team struggle late in the year. So I, I do have some doubts, but I, I am a Watson and, you know, Hopkins Fuller fan, you know, a fan of that group. So eight and eight's tough. I know the Texans fans won't agree, but, you know, it's realistic. It's really with that offensive line. Defense has to step up. Uh, but it's a tough schedule, very tough schedule. So I think it's possible. I mean, going back and looking, them really they can win week one. Um, but, again, they can lose to the Panthers here. They can lose to the Falcons here. Uh, I don't see anybody sweeping. So even though I went with a, a bold prediction that the teams win between the Texans and the Colts, they win away games. Um, so we can swap that, but then I'll swap that one. I don't think anybody's going to – if somebody's going to have 2-0, you know, it would probably be – it seems like it, it could happen in this division, but it's pr- the, it seems like the Titans can't beat the Colts and then the Jags can't beat the Titans So for some reason. So those, I think, would be sweeps. So nothing to do with the Texans here. Uh, Raiders have them winning that. So, well, the Jags don't have a home game against, it's really stupid, but they don't have a home game against the Texans. So I guess the Texans could sweep the Jags. Um, they, eh. I'm feeling pretty good about this 8-8. Eight eight. It's a tough schedule. I think they're better than an 8-8 eight eight team. But the same, again, at the same time, they, they can use some help here and there. Um, so much tougher schedule than last year. I think that's really the difference. So we're going to keep going through these AFC South teams through all the teams. We did plenty of them already. Uh, we're covering the NBA draft live during the NBA lottery. We'll be live during the NBA draft as well. We'll have mock drafts. So it'll be a lot of fun here. And we're still covering the NFL constantly here at the Goat House. So subscription will be much appreciated. Daily sports videos and some live streams. Uh, but that's going to do it for this one. Thanks everyone for watching. Goodbye.